sure you check out our new sponsor, The Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing, 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's thehealthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man. The Milwaukee Bucks beat the Toronto Raptors 108 to 100. And Milwaukee practically led the whole, I mean, excuse me, Toronto practically led the whole night. Um, but Brooke Lopez stole the show tonight, man. He went ham, but we back. Goodfellas Sports TV in the building. And uh, appreciate everybody for checking in. And let's pretty much talk about it, man. Kawhi had a, a game high tonight with 31 points, nine rebounds, two assists. And he played, I think, he played 42 minutes tonight. Pascal Siakam played 40. Kyle Lowry played 40. And just Nick Nurse, is, is, that's one of the reasons I chose to go with Milwaukee. One of the major reasons because Toronto head coach Nick Nurse is garbage. He, he just don't know how to make the proper adjustments. It ain't like, uh, you know, uh, Milwaukee set the fire, uh, league on fire, neither or tonight on fire. Um, Giannis had, uh, he shot 43% from the field, 24 points, 6 assists, 14 rebounds. Middleton had 11 points, 11 rebounds, shot 33%. Eric Bless only had 9 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. He shot 25%. Brogdon hit some key shots. Miritich gave him 13 points. He really didn't shoot well at all. I think six of those points came from the free throw line. Uh, the Pat guy, he didn't score, but it's basically about Brooke Lopez. He had 29 points, uh, 11 rebounds, shot 57% from the field, 36% from a three-point line. And that's what it was the difference, man. Um, for for Toronto, Toronto it, was, it was just like... They wasted a great night from Kyle Lowry. You know, Kyle Lowry went ham sandwich. He had 30 points. Pascal Siakam had 15. He shot terrible. Danny Green lost the ball at the end of the game. He played terrible. Fran Fleet ain't do nothing. Gasol was hot garbage. Um, Serge Ibaka, they should have put Serge Ibaka in the way Paul Gasol was sucking out there. But once again, this is that coaching and experience that Nick Nurse got, man. One of the reasons I trust Budenholz, he been here before. Nick Nurse is just... He just really riding Kawhi coattail. Kawhi going one on five. People scared to shoot the ball. And today Kyle Lowry just cho- just chose to shoot it. Gasol passing up three pointers. Danny Green passing up three pointers. Siakam can't hit a three pointer from the corner. The Raptors just don't have enough talent. They don't have enough shot takers and shot makers. They don't have no creator other than Kawhi Leonard on this level, man. And like I said before, they gonna have to go find them. Uh, somebody in the offseason, the Kawhi choose to stay, which I don't think he's going to stay to help create, get them a shot. But Giannis wasn't great tonight. Middleton wasn't great tonight. And Blesso wasn't really great tonight. Um, and they still won. They still won. That's dis- that, that scares me if I'm a Toronto Raptor fan. Because you know you can't keep Middleton quiet for too long. You can't keep Blesso quiet. You know Giannis is going to explode for a great game. And then you know Ilya Silva going to shoot better. Miritich can get hot at any minute. Brooke Lopez won't give you that performance every night, though. You know what I'm saying? But if he do, I mean, Milwaukee probably going to be champions. But for Toronto, couldn't get Kawhi Leonard no rest. Couldn't get Siakam no rest. Couldn't get uh, Kyle Lowry no rest. They should have interchanged Ibaka. He should have bought. Nick Nurse should have found a way to buy Ka- uh, Kawhi Leonard some, some minutes. But this is why Kawhi Leonard not going to stay in Toronto. For one, no nobody respect no Nick Nurse, man. Two, they don't have enough talent. They all scared. You can see why Toronto... Uh, couldn't get past LeBron. They don't have no fearless shot takers and shot makers. Even DeMar, DeMar DeRosa, DeRosa was in that same category. They scared to step up in the moment. And today, finally, Kyle Lowry kind of broke out of it and said, you know what? I am going to go past the fence. You know, I'm going I'm to run through it, and I'm going to live with the results. I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to live with the results. So if, if Kyle Lowry can play with that confidence, they'll have a chance in the series. But in my opinion, they really don't have a chance to win the series. Kawhi Leonard going to be tired. They play again Friday. It's only a day's rest. Milwaukee should run away with this. I said Milwaukee in seven. I think this series could be like a five-game series, man, a six-game series. I just see Milwaukee dominating. I don't think Bledsoe and Middleton going to play bad, and Brogdon still getting his foot. And just Milwaukee, an overall better team. Toronto really don't have a shot, in my opinion. Not with Nick Nurse and Kawhi Leonard going to go ahead and slide to the L.A. Clippers and be done with it. But it is what it is. Good fellow sports TV. Appreciate the love support. Make sure you check our sponsor, out, The Hill Blaze, at thehillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Box to get you eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bad bonds, muscle relaxing, deodorant, and much, much more. Hundred percent all natural products. Check them out. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. 
reach out to the email if you have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, or video request. Um, all those links in the description. You want to make a donation? Just share the video. It's the best way to donate. But let me know what you guys thought about the game. Did it, did y'all uh, opinions change about who gonna win the series? I had Milwaukee in seven. I think it may be shorter than that. Good fellow sports TV. One time for the one time we gone.